Hi, I'm Dan with Ag Leader, and today I'm going to walk you through installing SureForce on a Kinsey 3000 row unit. The goal for this video is to add some more visual aspects to the instructions that came with your SureForce kit. To start, if you have an older Kinsey 3500 or 3600 where the chain drive connecting the puller and pusher hex shaft runs through the center of the row unit, you'll need to contact your Kinsey dealership to retrofit the planter to the current design. For all other units, remove any existing downforce springs, airbags, or other downforce related items from each row unit. To start the install, raise the planter so the row units are resting on the lower stops. We'll then need to replace the fasteners on the lower parallel arms. To prevent the row unit from shifting during install, you'll need to replace the fasteners one at a time. Next, position the lower clevis bracket between the lower parallel arms, making sure that the down text is facing down and place the brackets open slots over the bushings we just installed. Then insert the half inch by two inch hex cap screw into the lower bracket holes. With the bracket in place, insert the three quarter inch bushings in the lower bracket holes and secure it with lock nuts. Next, we'll loosely assemble the upper bracket by only screwing in the two upper cap screws with split ring lock washers. Then slide the pre-assembled upper bracket over the face plate and loosely install the third cap screw and split ring washer. Verify that the upper bracket is centered on the face plate by placing the actuator in the upper bracket and aligning it with the lower bracket. Then tighten down the three hex cap screws on the bracket. In this install, we're going to install the valve block in the left orientation. If there's any interference that requires you to install in the right orientation, you'll need to remove the three screws on the bottom bracket and flip the orientation. Ag Leader advises investigating the planner for any potential interferences and determining the orientation on a row by row basis. Potential conflicts include drive chains, vacuum and hydraulic hoses, electric cables, and non Ag Leader aftermarket parts. Loosely fasten the row valve block bracket with two 5 16 by 2.5 inch bolts and serrated flange nuts. Loosely fasten the bulkhead T bracket to the row valve bracket using 5 16 by 3.25 inch carriage bolts and serrated flange nuts. Tighten the 5 16 inch fasteners that secure the row valve block to the bracket and the 5 16th inch fastener securing the bulkhead T bracket to the row valve bracket. Before installing the valve, we recommend connecting the pressure hose to the bulkhead before moving forward since it will be less accessible after installing the block. To install the block, line up the holes on the valve assembly with the outside of the upper bracket and secure it with the two 5 16 by 1 inch bolts and flange nuts. Next, we'll install the actuator. To install the actuator, we'll insert the longer clevis pin through the upper bracket and actuator housing and secure it with the cotter pin. Make sure the clevis pin is installed so the cotter pin will be inserted on the side facing the valve block. Then, insert the shorter clevis pin through the lower actuator bracket and secure it with a cotter pin. Now, install the 3 8 pressure hose and half inch return hose from the block to the actuator. Finally, connect and tighten the remaining row hoses between each valve block to the end of each T-fitting. The next part of this video will only pertain to the Kinsey 3800 model planters. On Kinsey 3800 models with hex shafts for hydraulic or ground drive, we will require kit part number 4005774 
that will only be installed on the center two rows. This allows the hoses to fit underneath the frame gussets. The kit is not required if the planter hex shafts have already been removed and allow the valve to be mounted on either side of the actuator bracket. To install this kit, remove the form steel tube and replace the number 4 and number 6 straight port adapters on the top of the valve with the 90 degree port adapters provided in the kit. Next, flip the bulkhead T fitting 180 degrees. Using the hose provided in the kit, connect the pressure bulkhead T to the pressure port on the valve. Now, install the 3 8 pressure hose and half inch return hose from the block to the actuator. Finally, connect and tighten remaining row hoses between each valve block to the end of each T-fitting. For the remaining steps of your installation, please refer to the frame fold instructions that apply to your planter's fold style.